And we now continue with more of my exclusive interview with Senator John McCain and Governor Sarah Palin. Governor, you, in the last couple of days, this past Saturday, the New York Times came out with an article about the relationship between Senator Obama and a man by the name of Bill Ayers. Mm -hmm. Bill Ayers takes credit for, of all days, in the New York Times, September 11, 2001, says, I don't regret setting bombs. I wish we did more. A man who admits to bombing the Pentagon, the Capitol, mm -hmm. New York City Police Headquarters, <laughs> whose motto was, get all the rich people, break their cars and houses, and uh, go home and kill your parents. How big, in, we, we expected this would come up last night in the debate, it did not. What, what more do you want to know about this relationship? What does it tell you about Barack Obama? Tells me again, we need to question his judgment. And, um, you know, not only those atrocious activities that Bill Ayers was involved in, but the questions need to be asked, I believe. When did Barack Obama know of his activities? Uh, we've heard so many conflicting stories and flip-flopped answers about uh, when he knew the guy. Did he realize that he kicked off his political career in the guy's living room? First it was yes, and then it was no. It, it comes down to, again, judgment and truthfulness uh, in uh, a candidate's well, we, character. This is what we know. We know that he did kick off his political career in his right. house. The year was 95. We know they've sat on multiple boards together. Uh, we know they give them speeches together. We know there's been sort of a back and forth financially, heirs contributing to Obama, Obama sort of working some money back through them. Um, what question, Senator, would you like answered as it relates to this relationship, and do you think the American people should care about this? I think they should care about Senator Obama's truthfulness. I don't care much about it old terrorist and his wife who are still unrepentant. Uh, by the way, she was as, as much or more active than, than Mr. Ayers was. But the point is, it's not about them. It's about Senator Obama being candid and straightforward with the American people about their relationship. He has dismissed it by saying he was just a guy in the neighborhood. We know it's much more than that. Let's reveal all of the details of that relationship, and then the American people can make a judgment. But here's a question. He's, his answer is, well, I hardly knew him. I was eight years old when he committed these, quote, despicable acts. That's his answer. But he was in his 30s and 40s when he sat on a board with him. And when he was in his living room, yes. And was in his living room. And I guess my question is, should the American people be concerned that he's capable in a post-9-11 world of fighting terrorism when he is friends with an unrepentant terrorist. Well, I think that's, that's also uh, part of the judgment American people make. But first, I think we ought to have a full and complete examination of the relationship. And then the American people can make a judgment. And so far, I think it's very clear that he was a lot more than just a guy in the neighborhood. Do you think this needs to be asked more in your next debate? Do you think this should have because a lot of us in the media were sitting back thinking because of the New York Times and mm -hmm. because of your comments, Governor. Is this something that needs to be vetted out? Well, I hope it's vetted out. I think it needs to be vetted out. And I think the American people understand whether Senator Obama has been truthful and candid about his entire relationship with Mr. Ayers and with others, very frankly. All right. Well, let's talk about others. Including the ACORN organization. Well, we, we've got, this is now part of a larger narrative that's emerging. And the Obama campaign seems very, very defensive about this. They don't, don't want any questions. How dare you ask? This is unfair. But he's friends with Father Flager, a radical, a fairly radical figure in Chicago. Tony Resco, a convicted slumlord we have in one case. And we know that he spent 20 years in the pews of Reverend Wright, who has said the most outrageous things, including GD America and America's chickens have come home to roost after 9-11. What does that tell you, Governor, about, about Senator Obama and his radical associations? It goes right back again to the candidate's judgment and who he would choose to associate himself with in the past, perhaps the present. It makes me question who he would associate himself with in the future. Yeah, and we should, the Americans should be concerned about it. I'm concerned about it. You, in what way? concerned about it because, uh, again, somebody's track record says so much about who they are and where they want to lead this country.